Here we go. Three, two. This is a sonnet called Fields with Signs. And before I read it, uh, there are two or three terms I want to explain that you might miss in, in such a short, compressed poem. The first is um, a technical term, a term that if you live in the Wasatch Front or anywhere in the Intermountain West near an urban area, you probably know. It's PM 2.5. It's a form of pollution. Uh, the other word is cruise, and by that I'm talking about cruise control. The drivers in the poem are on cruise. And then finally, at the end of the poem, I use a very technical scientific term called endoliths. An endolith is a microbe that actually lives inside a rock, inside the pores and cracks of rocks. And so the endoliths make an appearance at the end of the poem. So this is called Fields with Signs. We drive past them, shaking our heads, unsure how to blame or whom. I sure won't shop there, drivers say behind glasses, sipping coffee or tea that steams their windshields. A backhoe's just arrived at fence lines, dry woad and virgin's bower. A red-tailed hawk fluffed perches on a pole. Then sun slices October's particulate haze, dazzles a frost of PM 2.5, thin canyon shafts of light. It is a beautiful morning, regardless of air and exhortations of consequence and pleas for purchase. We watch the fall on cruise, yearning for vacancy for some ancient vista, as far below the endless eke near creeping faults, and everywhere something other than our meanest selves takes hold.